Hello and welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at pointing devices and you can see I do have some in front of me right now. Um, but before we start looking at them, you know, let's jump in and actually start like discussing what they are and the different types that we have because, you know, we do have a lot of different ones available to us nowadays. So let's jump into the slides and, uh, and start looking at these. So our pointing devices are, you know, become really uh, important part of our computers that we have these days because it provides us with a way to interact with our GUI, our graphical user interface. And what this does is the mice actually take and convert our actions into machine readable input. So our actions that we do with the mice, um, our mouse, you know, the machine understands and interprets them and makes it so the system understands what we're wanting to do. So, you know, they're very, they're very important part of our um, computer system these days. So let's jump in and look at some different type that we have. So we do have two different types of pointing devices as well. Um, so we have our mice, which, you know, we look at, we have our optical, and I would say this is your more standardized that you have nowadays that we use with our desktop computers. And then we also have our mechanical, and you can see here, this is like the internal part. So you can see you have that little ball, and there's like a wheel and everything. So it was all mechanical um, that we used, and I can remember using these as a kid and just getting really fed up because of you'd get dust and dirt would get caught in there, and then it would stop working, and you'd have to take the little track ball, the little ball out and clean it. So they were just really a pain. So optical mice make our lives a lot easier. And as well, another one we have, um, you know, wireless mice so that we don't have to have a cord and everything. And you do see these very commonplace now with desktop computers and um, even people using them with laptops. And then finally, the last one we have is our trackball, which you can see has kind of like the ball in the middle um, that you roll around and then you have buttons on the sides to navigate. So I'm going to um, show you a couple different ones. So I have a couple different um, mechanical mice here as well. So first one we'll look at is actually an older style one that was part of an apple. So you can see here it just has one button on it. And then if I flip it over, you'll see that it has the trackball on it. And this would roll around and be interpreted by the computer for us. And then another one I have, it's a little newer as well. And it's the same idea. It's but this one has our two buttons that we can use. So it's a little newer. Uh, I'll move the cable out of the way. So you can see we have two buttons. And on the back as well, it's a trackball, or sorry, a roller ball that we can use. And I can quickly pop it out, and you can see that it's just a ball. Just round, and you know, it just goes into the, the slot. And when we roll it around, the ball moves. It moves sensors, and the sensors you know, send the signal to the computer and tell the computer what to do. So another one we have is our optical. And this one's, you know, different as well because of, if we look at it, not only does it have our two buttons, but it also has this middle scroll wheel. So, you know, a little different, adding more features in as well. And if we look at the back, you know, it's optical. It has this little laser light that is used to interpret the signal. So if I pull up the mechanical mouse next to it, you can see the differences between the two. And then the next one is our, um, the trackball, which is a little bigger, but you can see that it has, you know, a ball that you can roll around with and this moves your pointing device and then you have your two buttons that you can use to select. So a lot better, um, you know, helps with carpal tunnel and everything um, with ergonomics. And then finally, the last one I have is another Apple mouse, but it's a little newer. You can see that there's no cable or anything, um, and it has, you know, you can scroll around with the, the third wheel that we looked at before here, um, and it's just, it's a Bluetooth mouse. So if I look at the back, you can see it's, it's optical. To turn it on, you just slip the switch down. You can see the light comes on, so it's an, it activates it, and it's wireless. This one actually uses Bluetooth to communicate with your computer. So you don't need any other little USB like transceiver to use it. So you know, you can see that there are a lot of different types of um, mice that we have and everything. So let's also jump in and look at some of the newer types um, of devices that we have as well. So such as touch screens, you know, this is becoming a lot more popular nowadays. 
And what this does is it allows you to, you know, have very um, different types of interactions with your device as well because of, you know, it supports our multi-touch multi -touch gestures as well. So we have a lot of different interactions that we can use because of this. And you're seeing a lot of other devices come with touch screens. Even laptops nowadays are coming with touch screens. Another one we have as well is our touchpad. And you see these most commonly on um, you know, laptops and devices like that where you can see the center part, kind of you put your finger on that, moves your cursor around. And then below it, you have your left and right clicks as well. And another one that we don't see as often anymore is your pointing stick. And you can see this one would be actually between your keys. And then below your space bar, you would actually have your left and right click. Um, you know, I did have a uh, laptop that had a pointing stick on it, and I actually didn't like it too much. After using it for, you know, like 18 months to two years, the, um, you know, it just stopped always going into the upper left-hand corner of the screen. It just got really annoying, so I didn't really like them. They're a little, little different, but I actually prefer on a laptop nowadays to actually use the touchpad. So, you know, everyone has their preferences. I actually see people actually prefer to have an external mouse with their laptops and everything. So everyone has their own preference. So you just have to find what's comfortable for you and keep using that. So jumping back into the slides now, there's um, other types of pointing devices that we have as well. And some of you are probably familiar with, you know, joysticks. If you play video games and everything, you might have, you know, different types of joysticks that you use to, you know, play video games and interact with, um, you know, your computer in that aspect. So, you know, that is another type of pointing device that we have as well. And then finally, you know, another one would be dance pads, which, you know, you're not really thinking that this is a, you know, pointing device, but you are interacting and you are sending signals to your computer when you, you know, when you're moving around and when you're dancing. So, you know, keep that in mind that a dance pad is another type of pointing device as well. So, you know, you can see that not all pointing devices come in the shape of what we normally think of as a mouse. So, you know, keep that in mind as well. So, moving on now, we have motion sensing devices that, you know, you, your body actually becomes the pointer. So here we have the Xbox 360 Connect as an example, and this senses your body, and you know, like you become the mouse, um, the cursor really, um, and controlling the way things interact. And another one we have as well is um, your stylus. And your stylus is you usually see these interacting with like touch screens and iPads, um, devices like that. So you can use your your stylus to, um, you know, instead of your finger to interact with your, um, your device as well. So you can see that we have a lot of different types of pointing devices out there. And, you know, it, they all come in a lot of different um, shapes and forms. Uh, you know, I have one on my desk that I didn't bring with me today um, because it's in use, but it looks like a joystick, but it's a mouse. It's an ergonomic mouse um, that I like to use. And, you know, it took a little bit to get used to, but I actually prefer it now. It's a, uh, you know, so you just got to find one that works for you and one that you like. And, you know, as well, you can switch between pointing devices as you like uh, because they all do have their, you know, specific features and, you know, different supported devices are, different mice are supported on different devices as well. So keep that in mind. So hopefully you kind of enjoyed seeing the different types of mice and the learning about like the different capabilities and everything about them. So thanks and we'll see you next time.